Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2022 ski test videos. Today we're going to talk about the Line Sakana. Uh, this ski is a lot of fun, super unique. You know, a lot of what Line does is pretty unique. That's what their company is known for. They do their own thing, uh, and we're really glad that they do. Um, this shape originally came out of the the creative mind of Eric Pollard, who's since moved on with his own brand. Uh, but some of his designs and shapes are, are still carried forward by line, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, this is the Sakana uses a partly cloudy wood core, uh, which is a blend of maple and polonia. So maple gives it some strength and stability and responsiveness. Polonia helps keep the weight down. Uh, 105 underfoot, big wide tip up here, 150 millimeters in the tip. 138 millimeters in the tail, so pretty big tail as well. And then obviously we get this really interesting swallow tail design, which we'll talk more about in a little bit. Um, in terms of rocker profile, you're getting a lot more tip rocker than tail rocker. So tip rocker starts about where my hand is. Tail rocker, on the other hand, is almost non-existent. It's basically just that swallow tail portion of the ski that kind of gets a little kick up there. Uh, and then you get a nice amount of camber underfoot. So this ski is really interesting to ski uh, because it can do a couple different things. And when you kind of blend it all together, it just, it's such a unique skiing experience. So with the side cut profile, with that camber height, um, and, and with the fact that like it's a pretty extended side cut through the tail and again not much tail rocker back there So it's actually got a pretty precise feel on firm snow Despite this being a swallow tail. It's pretty darn stiff back here Like you'd think that you could just kind of bend these little these little wings uh, But you really can't so it retains good torsional stiffness in the back of the ski so you can lay over some pretty darn impressive carving turns. It's almost got like similar characteristics to the blade uh, when you have it on firm snow. Maybe not quite as quick or not quite as precise, but definitely some, some similarities between those two skis. Um, and then what's particularly cool about this ski, in my opinion, is when you get into softer snow, uh, you know, swallowtail design comes from like surfboards and, and snowboards and there's there's a number of different things that use swallowtail designs and basically what it's doing is it's allowing the back portion of the ski to sink into the snow a little more um, you know because it's not full width back here it, it's less surface area so it's allowing the tail to sink which then kicks the tip up and with the length of rocker up there basically never feels like the tip is going to dive in deeper snow so it gives the ski like a really surfy, fun feel in soft snow because you can kind of sit back, you know, the tail is not like fighting you. Uh, it, it's one of those things where it's really easy to kind of to kind of dump speed if you need to just by letting your weight go back a little bit and then thus the tail sinks in. Um, so it's got a really, really fun feel in soft snow, just, just extremely playful and, and surfy. And then you get it on a groomer and you can just lay over carves, which is really cool. There's not many skis that can do that. Um, obviously, it's a super unique shape. So that's a big reason why this ski has a unique overall characteristic or unique overall feel. Um, but yeah, super glad that it exists because it's a lot of fun to ski. Um, and a lot of people on our staff have taken a liking to it. You know, it's pretty easy to look at it and just be like, nah, that's not for me. Just because it's a really unique ski when you look at it. Uh, but when you ski it, it often, or when we have testers ski it, it often surprises people um, and, and just how fun it is. And ultimately, a, a few people on our staff have picked up a pair for themselves. So, super cool. Glad the line Sakana is back. Uh, let us know if you have any questions about it as usual. Um, skis like this, you know, it's often kind of hard to figure out where they, where they sit in the sea of options for skis. Um, so don't hesitate to get in touch with us if you need help deciding if this is right for you. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you guys out there on the slopes.